Welcome to Harmon Garage. I'm Aaron, and what we have here is a 1984 GMC High Sierra. I know it's got a Chevy emblem in the grill, but as you may be able to tell from looking at it, that might not be the grill that came in it. And, you know, the bumpers, we should be able to polish that up and it'll be okay. And, you know, don't worry about all the other busted stuff. But, no. All kidding aside, this is going to be today's project. So, what I want to do, I need to get back working on Marlboro Man, which is over here behind you guys. But, if you watched the last video, you know that I took the motor out of this truck and put it in a frame over here for another project that we got going on. And this, this truck here, I call it Sparky, is, uh, I'm putting it together for my youngest nephew because he wants a square body and he just got his license and we're getting him a truck so in order to work on Marlboro Man over here I need to get Sparky out of the way and I've got parts sitting up here that need to go back on it and stuff like that and I have a GMC grill and a different front end that I think I can make fit on here I'll bring you guys in closer with the other camera in a second and show you but this whole front end is in really bad shape. The bumper is really bad. The grill, I'm pretty sure you can tell it's messed up. Our headlight doors don't match and they're not right. We got busted out headlights. I'll bring you in closer and show you what's going on. Well, I got your guys' attention. Did you know that Harmon Garage has sweatshirts for sale on the merch website now? We do. And it's getting cold and it sucks being cold so you might want to think about going on over there checking it out and maybe getting you one so www.harmongarage.net get yourself a sweatshirt heck can't wear a sweatshirt without an undershirt you might need a t-shirt too to go underneath it so go check it out hopefully there's something on there you like but anyways what we were talking about before we were so rudely interrupted by my shameless plug is sparky here so we got one era headlight door over here. We got a different style headlight door over here. I think this is probably actually the original GMC one. That's off of a different year model. Possibly just like a plain custom deluxe Silverado deal there. Chevy grill, which this is the original fender on the truck. And as you may notice, it says High Sierra, which is a uh, package a gmc package 1500 62 diesel you watched the last video you know all about that and the story that i got is there must be one heck of a fire because every fire every emergency response vehicle in this neighborhood has been flying past here for the last 15 minutes so something's going on hopefully it's not heading towards the shop anyways Dark blue fender, dark blue door, dark blue hood. The original truck was brown and cream, brown and cream. The bed, which I've already taken off because it's going to another project, brown and cream. So, story I got was this truck hit a deer, which is the reason why it has a door, a different door and a different fender and a different hood. I'm not sure how they got a high Sierra GMC fender and door and hood. And then ended up with the Chevy grill with the matching blue stripe. I don't know. But obviously it's not right. And I don't like it when it's not right. So uh, as you can see here, they must have, that deer must have been about the size of a great white buffalo. Because somehow they did all this damage over here. Core supports all pulled from the fender. All that. And this has all been repaired, except for this bumper's mangled. Our bumper filler is all mangled. And, I mean, you can see what I'm talking about. So, what I'm going to do is take all this out. Bumper's coming off. I don't have a new bumper for it right now, but I'm pretty sure I know somebody that does. If not, the aftermarket ones aren't that pricey. I can get one coming. But, uh, I have everything else that we should need to do this not new but you know stock replacement parts so um 
I got another core support right here. This is a four headlight setup like this is here. I don't really want to use the four headlight setup. I have a single five by seven headlight with the parking lights that go down underneath it. I've got that set up that came off of my burnout truck over there. If you don't know what the burnout truck is, it means you're probably not subscribed and you don't watch the video. So you should go and subscribe and go back and watch the burnout truck video. But anyways, I got a grill that I gathered in my hoarding experiences sometime in my life. I've got the headlights and the marker lights and the headlight doors off the burnout truck that'll go on here. Now this isn't exactly the proper core support for the single 5x7 headlight setup because it doesn't have the mounts for the parking lights down at the bottom. But all those are is like little um, yada yada. They're like little square threaded pieces that are put in there so it's got something to bolt to where as long as I get them lined up right for the headlight doors and everything I can either A put in drill holes and put in nut zerts so you can just screw them in which is probably what I'll do or I can just run self tappers in the dang thing to hold the lights on but that would be the neither way is the right way to do it the right way to do it would be have the right core support but I don't so the better way to do it in my opinion would be to put nut zerts in so I can just bolt the lights on. So I've been sitting here blabbing about all this crap for long enough. So I'm gonna get some tools out here and we'll start tearing this thing apart and then we'll start putting it back together. All right, well, I got the bumper all unbolted as far as I, you know, can with it being all mangled up. I've got at least the bolts out of one part of every mount and brace so hoping it'll come off like that and uh yeah so i'm gonna have to get new bumper mounts with the new bumper I'm going to have to straighten up the frame a little bit, which if I remember, I'll show you guys the frame horn that's kind of beat up. You know, when we got the camera in here closer doing something else. But uh, for right now, the bumper's off, the mounts, everything on the passenger side's okay. Everything on the driver's side's garbage. So when I go get a new bumper, I can get a new uh, outer brace and a new mount if I don't have one laying around somewhere. But uh, bumper's off. I'm going to go ahead and get the other bracket off for right now just so it's not in the way and then we'll start pulling the rest of everything that we're replacing off. Okay, now I'm just going to go through, get all my plastics off, I'm going to take off the headlight doors, take the grill out. Rick, if you're watching this, I haven't forgot and I got a perfectly good grill band here for you and uh, I'll send you a message. and get together so I can get it sent out to you. I guess that's a headlight shim? Never come across one of those before, but, you know, maybe we've got one over here, too. Okay. Alright, so, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, take out the, my bumper trim here. I'll take this out, and then I'm going to go through and, uh, after I take that out, I'm going to go through and unbolt my fenders from my core support. And I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to remove the core support with the fenders still in the truck. I've never done it. I've seen other people have the fenders hanging there without the core support in, so I'm assuming you can do it. I mean, I pretty much know you can do it. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this out 
and then we'll unbolt the fenders and uh, yeah and just keep on keep it on okay I obviously got the bumper filler panel off it's gonna need to be straightened out a little bit we're gonna have to reuse it because I do not have one of those to replace it and if you guys have never taken one of these trucks apart before there's two bolts right here there's a bolt right here and there's two bolts right here that's what holds that filler piece in and why after I got that off I went to go and start pulling my headlight parking light horn whatever else harness it goes it comes out through the core support runs across goes back in the core support plugs in so obviously we can't take the core support out with that running through there so when i went to go pull that out the um radiator overflow tank and what's left of the battery tray was in the way so i went ahead and got those out we got our harness all undone got it all unrouted through here it's tucked up there like you already saw and now uh, i also unhooked our hood release cable which is broken so i went online and ordered a new one of those and i took our hood latch off because i don't know if the one that's already on the other core support is any good i honestly don't know if the one that i took off of here is any good but now i have two choices and if the hoods were a little bit different or whatever i'd kind of rather have the one that came with the truck which wouldn't match that hood anyways because that's an aftermarket hood so really i'm just dumb anyways next thing i'm going to do unbolt the fenders from the core support and once again if you guys have never taken one of these trucks apart and you're trying to take off a fender you're going to get to a point where you think you got all the bolts out and the fender's not coming off in the front because they hide a little bolt right up here you have to take everything apart to see it it's not the easiest to get to there's one on each side so uh i already got those out because i know they're there but we're going to uh get going take the rest of the bolts out all right so on the uh 81 to 87 you should have you should have I think four on the inside of the fender like I said after you pull the battery tray off and all that stuff uh, one is down here at the bottom of the fender that goes into the bottom tray of the core support which this one's all rusted away so there's nothing there so I've actually only got three that I can see and with as rusty as everything is, I'm just going ahead and taking these out by hand because you start putting power tools on them and you start stripping out the nuts in the fender and then you got to cut bolt heads off then you can't put bolts back in and it really just gets to be kind of a pain. So I'm just going to take my time, take them out by hand and then after we get this done, we'll just have to pull the two. I'm going to have to check. I think both of the inner wheel wells are so rotted out that there's not any bolts holding them to the core support anymore. But I'll have to double check. And then if uh, we get those, if once those are unhooked, the only other thing is the two main cap, uh, core support mount bolts that go to the frame. So, just finish off. Pulling this stuff out. Okay, I got all the rest of the bolts off of here on the insides of the fenders. There was one over there that I had to cut, and I'll show you why in a minute. And I went ahead and got our body mounts undone in the front so generally speaking I should be able to grab a hold of this core support and without much of a fight pull it out of the truck so like I said I've never done this before I always 
every single time I've ever done this, I've taken the fenders off first, or I've pulled the whole front clip with the fenders. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I guess it comes right out. That really wasn't that bad at all. I'm going to lay that down over there because I'm going to need the bolts. And uh, we're going to reuse bushings and stuff like that. And I'm going to need all the clips that holds the wiring harness in because all the ones on this other one are gone. So uh, I'll leave that sitting over there. There's a couple things that I want to do to the truck before I put the new core support back in. And I'm going to go get the other camera so I can get you guys up close and you can see what that is. Alright, it was hard to see before when I showed you guys because the grill was still on and everything. But, you see how this is all dent, bent and dented? Over here is like pushed back. This is all messed up. That's why I decided to swap it out. Because... There, there wasn't no straightening it. It's, it's bent in ways that it's not going to be right. And I have the exact same core support right there to the bolt right in. So, and it's in perfect shape. It doesn't have any rust under the battery trays or anything. It's perfect. So why would I not put that one in? Um, we've got some rust here. The inside of the outer fender is kind of rusty. Uh, the inside of the inner fender is quite a bit rusty. There's something down in here that's not supposed to be there. Which is... Hey! Free screwdriver. Never complain about that. Anyways, kind of rusty. There's a little bit more here. I can at least get two of the inner fender bolts on here. Um, I'm going to have to get these bolts out because that section of the core support is still on the new one uh, old battery tray stuff let's go ahead and get it out of the way and then up here as you can see this is pretty pretty mangled up and then you look over here it's straight and there's a nice little swoop and this is out here and so forth so basically what I'm saying is I want to try to make this look a lot more like that so hopefully we can get that done and uh once we do that then that other core support should just slip right in there and bolt in and assuming that it does then the rest of this project will be fun because we just got to put lights and grills and all that kind of stuff back in so i'm going to uh get some knock the crap out of it tools in hand and we're going to go over there and Try to knock the crap out of that fender. All right. Well, I was just over looking at the parts that I said I had for this. And I was looking at the grill that I thought I was going to put in it. And realized that it's out of a 73 to 80. I don't know how I screwed that up. But I do have another GMC grill that's not in the best condition but it's not in the worst condition either and I think it's actually the grill out of the burnout truck so we're probably going to take that down and throw it in here at least for the time being but it's not the near perfect one that I wanted to use which sucks but in the meantime we're going to go ahead and do some tappy tappy and try to get this stuff all pulled back out where it's supposed to be see how it goes Okay, you saw some time lapse there of 
me prying and hammering and tack welding and banging and pushing and all the above i'm not going to say that i got it perfect but i will say that it's a lot closer than it was and everything's back within the realm of where it needs to be for everything to bolt up to so i got it straighter i got a bolt here bolt here bolt here these bolts down here those are all going to line up like they're supposed to they're in the area of where they need to be in conjunction with how this side is so i guess it'll do um we're gonna go ahead and stab that core support in now and then we can mount lights and stuff i haven't decided what i'm gonna do grill wise yet like i said i had that grill and i never looked at it close and i didn't even realize that it was a 73 to 80 grill i do have that 81 to 87 gmc grill hanging up there on the wall but it's kind of trash but it's still a gmc grill i don't know um yeah i've got some chevy some 81 82 headlight doors here that would put the um leave the parking lights in the grill like they were i don't know we'll figure it out see how it goes all right well i was trying to get this little pressure up on the front end of this truck done today but i didn't and like i said in the last video we're not just going to rush stuff anymore just to do it so i guess we got as far as we got and we'll move on tomorrow but core support is in mounted to the fenders mounted to the frame i went and dug up all my parking lights and my headlights and my headlight doors and all that and i checked and there's actually flat spots on this core support where the flat spots for the lights sit so there it's that's good so that means that i can just put them in there and line them up where they're supposed to be mark them drill holes put nut zerts in run some screws or bolts in there to hold them and those will be good it looks like the headlights are gonna fit i just gotta do some messing around with them to get them how i want them or how they need to be or whatever you want to say but they're gonna go and then like i said i'm for now i'm probably gonna have to stick that busted up grill in there which will still look better than the busted up grill that it had because it's more complete and it actually says gmc on it but we're going to find a grill and order it it's just not going to be here in time to finish this video so i'm going to come in tomorrow i'm going to scuff up and paint the core support so when you look through the grill and whatnot it looks better we're going to put the headlights in put the parking lights in freshen all that stuff up probably put that other grill in like i said so we can get the visual effect and uh go from there but i mean my nephew he wants to build this truck with his money which he doesn't have a lot of he's 17 and you know i i know it's going to be his first truck and he's probably going to beat the crap out of it and everything else but i still want to give him something fairly nice to start with without me having to spend a bunch of money and uh just doing what we can do with what he's got i mean i don't consider giving him parts that i already have spending my money because it's just stuff that i had laying around it's someday stuff someday i might need it so i'll keep it so i'm gonna call it a day for today i'm gonna go home and do what i do i'll be back first thing in the morning we'll keep going on this project well i know you guys are never gonna believe this but i changed my mind at least once per video right got everything all lined out know what i'm gonna do and nope just kidding 
So anyways, I got a hold of my buddy. I told you that the grill that I thought I was gonna use was the wrong one. And uh, I was gonna go to the single headlight with the parking light underneath it because of the grill that I was gonna use. And then since it wasn't the right grill, Anyways, I talked to my buddy this morning. He has a grill that's 404 headlight. He's got, he had matching headlight doors for a four headlight. And this truck was originally a four headlight. It's already wired that way. So now I have the grill, I've got parking lights, I've got headlight doors, I've got everything I need to put the front end back together and have it still be a four headlight truck, which I personally prefer the single headlights better but it, like I said, it's wired for four headlights. I have all the things to make it four headlights and it will be a GMC four headlight like it was originally. So here's the grill that I got. It's in pretty good shape. The only thing that's missing is the GMC letters. And if I can't get some of those, I can make something cool to go on there, which I might just do anyways, because I like doing stuff like that. So headlight doors, grill, you notice one of the parking lights is missing, but I have the ones on the grill that came off, so no big deal. Got all the headlight buckets, all the adjusters, all the springs, everything for the four headlights. Those headlights aren't looking very promising, but that's okay because headlights are going to probably need to be replaced anyway. So you might notice I got this taped off along the fenders and our upper trim piece here. Because I told you before I quit yesterday that I was going to shoot some paint on this to uh, make it look better if you look through the grill. So I've already got it scuffed up with Scotch-Brite. I already wiped it down the best I could get it with wax and grease remover. We're going to grab some uh, satin black or low gloss black or medium gloss black, whatever the heck I got in there that's not shiny black. And we're going to shoot down this core support. We'll let it dry for a couple minutes at least tack up and then we'll start putting everything back together running our headlight wiring through mounting our headlights in there seeing what we got to do for headlight adjusters because i'm sure i'm not going to be able to get all eight out of that other one and not break them and they're probably already broke anyways so we'll see what we got to do but for right now we're going to shoot some paint I uh, got a little bit more time in it. As you guys saw, I got it painted. The paint is all, uh, I don't want to say it's dry, it's tacked up. I got a little dust in it and rubbed across the dust. But I think once the paint is not tacky anymore, I can probably clean that dust off of it. Either way, it looks 110 times better. And we got a nice clean core support. My bumper filler down here on this side, it was bent really, really bad because this is where the whole core support and everything was tweaked. So it was bent up really, really bad. I got it, uh, I'd say 95 to 97% straight. And I cleaned it up a little bit down there where it was kind of twisted too. Got it remounted. You probably already noticed. Headlight harness is back in. I got my grounds all hooked back up on both sides. I've got my horns plugged back in. It's all routed in the factory clips the way it's supposed to be because I'm weird and I just like to do that. So either way, it's good to go. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I want to make the letters to go in the grill or if I want to just try to find the right letters that just bolt in there, I'm kind of leaning towards making some because it's cool 
and I like to do that kind of stuff. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Should I try to make some letters to go in the grill or should I get the factory ones that just have the speed nuts on the back of them that go in there? Let me know what you think and I'll probably do what you guys say, probably. Anyways, I'm not gonna be able to put the headlights in today because from the truck being 40 some years old and it's sitting for the last 25 years, these two plastic clips on adjusters are good so they're not a good example. But either the plastic clips that hold them in the core support are broken or the adjuster themselves are so rusty that they won't adjust and it's not even worth messing with them. I could run down to the local parts store and buy eight new adjusters, slap them in real quick, but there's only one brand of adjuster that I buy and they're the only ones I've had any luck with. A lot of the ones that you just go get from local parts stores and stuff break while you're installing them because they're just, I don't know, not up to my standard, let's put it that way. So we're not saying anything bad about anybody. But they're not up to my standard. There's one company, Avico, that makes really good adjusters. And so I'll order them. When they come in, we'll get the headlights in. While I'm waiting, gives me time to clean up and paint the headlight buckets. Not that they need to be, you'll never see them, but just because I'm gonna do it anyways. But I'm going to, can't put the headlights in, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill mounted up in the truck cleaned up and mounted up in the truck headlight doors cleaned up mounted up in the truck bring you guys back and we'll at least be able to have a visual of how much better it looks versus how it looked at the beginning of the video so i did secure a bumper for it uh we're not gonna have it to put on today a buddy of mine has got it over in mississippi i'm gonna have to go over there someday and get it but it's not gonna be today. So here's the last look of how it is now. I'm gonna put the grill and the headlight doors in and I'll bring you back and show you how it looks. Okay, I got the grill back in, or I got the grill in. I got the headlight doors in once again. It kind of seems like, why'd you do all this when you didn't have the parts you needed to finish this project? And like I said a little bit ago, plans changed. I was going to go with the single headlight with the parking lights underneath. And I had all the parts to do that, which this is the way the truck's supposed to be. It's a high Sierra, which is the higher um, trim package, which has the four headlights with the parking lights and the grill. So this is the way it's supposed to be. And since I came up with all the parts, to make it the way it's supposed to be, I'd like to keep it the way it's supposed to be. So I gotta get headlight adjusters, no big deal. I probably would have needed those for the five by seven headlights also, but I'm pretty stoked with the way this turned out. I went ahead and set the hood back on there. For one thing, it's blocking the sun so you can actually see the grill and stuff without just seeing the light shining through the back of it from the sun. So here it is, grills in, headlight doors are in. And like I said, I got a nice bumper and I don't know why, but I was gonna clean all the dirt and stuff off of here. And I just had a rag and glass cleaner out here and cleaned up the grill. But the headlight doors, grill, that trim piece is straight. This fender's not as beat the crap anymore everything lines up good there's no busted out nasty grill so all we got to do is stick some headlights in there and it looks a thousand times better so not sure how far we're going to go with it right now my nephew wants to do some of the work himself but he doesn't really know enough to do the engine and transmission and, and brakes and get it running and driving and stuff but he wants to learn he wants to work on it so I may leave replacing inner fenders and you know other stuff for him to do or he may decide that he wants me to do it and he'll order the parts and I'll get it done so I don't know we'll see as the project goes on but this isn't going anywhere for a while we got a motor to put in it we got all the 
change over from a different motor to the motor that we're putting in it stuff that's going to have to change i'm going to have to rewire the whole engine compartment make a lot of changes i'll show you guys how to do all that in case you decide that you want to do some do a different vehicle or a different motor in your vehicle and you're not really sure how to make that work i can show you um i've got a rocker panel i need to fix over here which i'm not replacing the whole rocker i'm just going to patch it um cab corners got a quarter size hole that i'm just going to go ahead and patch because this truck's going up to cold country and the more we can save the rust on it the better and we need to figure out what we're going to do about a bed um original plan was flatbed and now he's decided that he doesn't really want a flatbed right now but i don't know and we'll figure it out here shortly but either way i just wanted to do a quick little video i was kind of looking at this and i need some help getting it out of the way and i didn't have anybody that could help me moving stuff yesterday or today so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and clean that front end up because it's one less thing i'll have to do later and because i'm doing it i'm filming it for you so that being said today's thursday the day this video came out monday i have jury duty and never done jury duty before especially not here I don't know if it's going to be a one day thing. I don't know if it's going to be a one month thing. I don't know. So I'm going to work tomorrow and all weekend and make sure that I get Tuesday's normal two o'clock in the afternoon video out. But aside from having Tuesday's two o'clock in the afternoon video out, I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know if I have to go spend a whole week at jury duty that's a whole week that i'm not going to be able to work on anything and i'm not going to be able to film anything so we're going to be we're not going to have a video up uh so there will for sure be a video tuesday fingers crossed i'm i'm like i said i'm going to work all weekend to make sure we get one up and uh after that i really don't know it hopefully i'll just go to jury duty and they'll say we don't like the way you look you're excused and i can rush back home change my clothes and get to work because that's what i like to do and that's what i want to do and then we'll make some videos but if that's not the case and i end up getting put on a trial or whatever they do i don't even know um if any of that happens it may be a little bit before another video and i just wanted to make you guys aware of that so you didn't think i was sick or think something happened to me or whatever just the way things are going i don't know if i'll have another video up after this coming tuesday so anyways if you haven't gone to the website and checked out the sweatshirts yet you should do that it's cold you need something to keep you warm so go check it out buy one i'll send it to you i promise anyways t-shirts are on there too uh go check it out maybe you'll like something if not it's okay too that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be able to do this Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.